Hey guys, this is Darren from Darren's Tech Tutorials. In this video, we're going to continue our Windows 11 series, and we're going to show you how to use the snipping tool in, in Windows 11. So, snipping tool is a really handy tool that allows you to uh, take screenshots of the entire screen, of areas of the screen, and it's really, really, really handy to use. Um, so, I'm just going to start here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come down to search here, and I'm actually going to search for the snipping tool. And you can see it's here and i'll press snipping tool now and you can see it comes up with some options um and we will cover this windows shift s this is one of my favorite shortcuts on windows 11. but say you have this i want to take a screenshot of this test file but just this bit of test file so i want to click new and it's going to give me some options here so i want to click on rectangular mode first and all i'm going to do i'm just going to click and drag my mouse so left click and drag your mouse and when you're happy, just release that. Okay, so I've just released that. And now you can see I get this really handy next screen uh, up. So say, for example, I want to highlight this. I'm sending it to a colleague and I want to highlight that it's Darren's test file. So I can do my color and then I can actually just highlight using, again, just left click on my mouse and I can just highlight that. And then what I can do is I can actually just save this. And let's call it screenshot. Let's just call it Darren's file. And then I'll save it. And now if I go to my folders here and I'll go to my pictures. And we can see it's saved uh, here now. It should open for us momentarily. And there we go. Darren's test file with the highlight. Perfect. So that's one way you can use the snip until one of my other favorite ways to use it, which is really handy is again, as we saw on your keyboard, press the Windows key, press Shift and S all at the same time. And you can see there it comes up now with everything. So you can see we have a couple of options, full screen, window mode, and free form mode. So maybe I wanna just take a screenshot of this window here. So I'll click window mode, and then I'll click on that on my file. And then we can see now in the snipping tool, it's copied this and we have this available for us now, um, which we can use, it should come up now. And there we go. So again, we can do the same thing that we've used before. So that's another really handy way to use the snipping tool. So let me just close all this again. So again, what I'm gonna press now is window shift and S. And we can see we have the options now. Window mode is the last one selected, but free form mode. Maybe you just wanna take a really quick and you just wanna do something like this. So all I'm doing is left clicking on my mouse and holding, and I'll finish here. And again, now we've taken this little free form snipping tool uh, image, which can be handy as well. Again, if you're doing documentation or you want to send something to somebody. Um, so let's just click here and hopefully this will open for us now. And there we go. And we also have options here like a pen, so we could underline something that was really important. And again, whenever we're ready, we can just click to save. And we'll call this under Darren's file underline, maybe. Underline. And we'll click save. And again, if I go now to my pictures, you can see we, we, we have this here. And um, it should open momentarily. So another way to use the snipping tool, which is really handy, is again, I'm just actually going to do, you know what I'll do, I'll open it from, from our search bar this time instead of doing Windows Shift next. So we'll go snipping tool, and we'll click on new. And I'm actually going to see up here, I want to take the whole window, I want to take the full screen of everything I'm doing here. And there we go, there, there's your full, full screenshot, and you can uh, do really cool things again, like we said, you could... Uh, you know, use it to draw an arrow state. So when you need to open Firefox here, then you can underline Darren's file. Um, so there's loads of really, really cool things you, you can do. Um, so I do hope that was helpful. If it was helpful, please do like and subscribe. Any comments, please do comment below. And if I can help, I certainly will. And as always, thank you for watching.